Okay, thanks so much, Mike. The Fountain Police Chief is now responding to allegations that News First Investigates uncovered last night. The Chief Dan Corsentino would not sit down for an interview with investigative reporter James Jarman today. James joins us live from our mobile newsroom. Did the Chief say why he won't answer our questions, James? No, he didn't, Lise, but we were told that he was too busy today. He did, however, have time to write up a two-page response to our story. You can read this entire response at our website right now, newsfirst5.com. Meantime, Office Insiders are telling us there's more you need to know, including why they can't publicly come forward. To give their we got a tip that Chief Corsentino was at the office writing a news release to respond to the questions raised in our report. We knew he was there because his personal car and city car were in the parking lot. So we went inside to save him some time and let him respond in person. Uh, okay, a written response today? We were told he's in meetings, but would send out a written response later. Information from some officers inside the Fountain Police Department is coming out slowly. Our source tells us if they come forward publicly, though, they risk losing their jobs or worse. It's an issue that goes beyond the chief of police, straight to City Hall. Members of the police department are not going to come forward uh, because they've all been threatened with termination. Uh, they've been told that um, even if a department has done something illegal, you're not to go forward with it. And who told them that? Um, the uh, human resources director had made that very clear to the employees that even if it's illegal, don't go forward with it. Not true. They have never made a comment like that. Just, I don't know the way to answer it other than that's not an incorrect, that's not a correct statement. In Corsentino's written response, he does admit they said Gina Som was given the title of training coordinator for the Fountain Police Department, even though she was never an employee. He says he did hire a comedian to reduce employee stress as part of his strategic plan. Some of his other responses raise more questions than answers. Now, the chief also says that no one ever told him there was an internal investigation. That investigation we told you about last night, the DA's office this afternoon confirms there was an investigation that they were asked to review. Of course, there is a lot more information on this story that we and our partners at the Gazette are uncovering. You can read more about that right now at newsfirst5.com and in the Gazette tomorrow morning. James Jarman, News First 5. Okay, thank you, James. Just in to News First 5, a Denver judge has approved a motion by Attorney General John Southers.